Hi, Emilia from BitScout. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can extract data from emails that you receive on your Outlook to your Excel. This example is a demonstration how you can create a very simple data extraction plugin from any email. And Excel in this case is used just as a final step, but obviously you can put the extracted data using Microsoft Power Automate to any other tool. Okay? So the challenge is that when you receive emails, and in this case, as you can see, these are travel requests, they're usually, when they're written by humans, they're usually very unstructured. And it's very difficult to use a standard parsing tools to do that, uh, which are called rule-based. So we're gonna use AI to do that. In BitScout, it's very easy. So what you need to do is go to plugins, press create, press extract, we're extracting information, and then choose from text. Now here, what you need to do is give a couple of examples. Usually two, three examples is enough, okay? So let's put here the first example. Let's complicate things a little bit and take the first example in Spanish. And it's important that BitScout works with any language because it's relying on what you give it as an example, okay? And let me extract four fields. First is from, and in this case, it will be Londres to Bucharest. Uh, what we're doing here is basically telling AI what we want to do. And we need to show AI as an example. And the same way, if you would be showing an example to an intern uh, of what, you, what needs to be done. The difference is that it's not something complicated and something that anybody can do. So let's add another example, here it is. So let's take this one and put it again. And again, I'm gonna fill the correct values. Berlin, Zurich, 01, 06, 2023. Let's fix it to 2023. And 05, 06, 2023. And by the way, when you put in examples, you can convert the data. So if you use dashes in dates, you can use dashes here. Pitscat will understand this. Okay, apply. Then the next step, we're gonna use Microsoft Power Automate. Nothing has to be configured uh, any. And we need to rename the plugin, email parsing. Okay, so now we have our plugin here. Now let's head on to our Microsoft Power Automate and create a flow. In Microsoft Power Automate, you have lots of flows that are already made, but I will just, for the sake of the example, I will create a new one from scratch. Let's call it trip requests. And the trigger is we need to find Outlook. So the trigger is when the email, new email arrives. Okay, let's create this trigger. Yes, let's see advanced options. Okay, so I would I will add here this filter just because I use this mailbox for something else and I need to clearly understand uh, for this example which email I'm gonna analyze, just not to get more emails. Okay, now let's add a net new step. In this case, it will be BitScout. Let's use it for text. The plugin is email parsing. And the text we need to take from a previous step. And it should be body. Okay, so that's it. And the new step now, we need to write it into Excel. We need to create a row. one. Then we need to find our Excel file. So let's select our Excel. Here it is. And now let's select the table and date format. Okay, let's do it like this. And here is where we have our values that we need to take from a previous step. 
Now, what will happen is BitScout will generate a JSON file. So let's add an action just to work with that. Okay, it's very straightforward. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run a test. Okay, so let me send an email. Okay, let me send an email to myself. So I put here a trip, travel request. And let's take the one that we didn't use before. Let's take this one. Okay. Ah, maybe the year should be 2023. So let's take this one. And put it here. All right. So now what you need, what we need to do is we need to test it. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have an empty data. So we already run a test. I've sent an email and, and got my test back. And here it is. What's importantly, this test has generated an important piece of data, which is the output. And it's actually what we need. Uh, unfortunately, Microsoft Power Automate, uh, well, probably in any other tool, knows upfront what kind of fields you will set up in BitScout, we need to add this step because the BitScout will return a JSON output, well, let's say technical format. And what we need to do is just to extract the correct value so we don't work with this technical format. It's very easy to do. So you just add an action called parse JSON here. And here you choose the value outputs from BitScout and here you choose generate from sample and you put the example here from your test. Like if you created other fields, so you need to put your example here, okay, from the first test. And only now the system will be able to recognize that. Let me show you how it looks like. So now I can choose the correct fields, as you can see, uh, I can choose from. I can choose two, I can choose date, and I can choose date till. Okay, so let's save it. Okay, so now our flow is okay, and let's run an automated trigger. Yes, this is the one. Let's run it. So I don't have to send an email once again. That's a very neat feature of Microsoft Flow that no other tool has. You can run it on the previous test. Okay, all good. Most importantly, let's see our Excel and here is our data. Okay, so here we are. Um, this way you can set up data extraction from emails that you receive in your Outlook to Excel. Of course, it's a simple example, but I think you get the idea. Thanks for your time.